what is up welcome to my channel so for today's video I am going to be doing makeup products that I wish weren't limited edition so basically I went through my collection I picked out some of my favorite limited edition things that I wish you guys could purchase or that I felt guilty about using because they were limited edition and I don't want to run out <laughs> um, and I just wish they would put these back in the store so that I could repurchase them. I don't know if anybody's done this video before. Let me check. Okay, so apparently there's a whole tag called the limited edition makeup tag started by Angelica. I don't know how to say her last name. I don't want to butcher it, but um, I guess I'm not as creative as I thought I was. I buy a lot of makeup and I feel the need to buy it, especially if it's limited edition because I got to get my hands on it. But here's the thing, I'll buy something that's limited edition and then I'll never use it because I don't want to run out. And then so I just end up never using it and then it expires. Like, does anybody else do that? <laughs> no, just me? Okay, so what inspired me to do this video is a couple weeks ago I was filming my ABH rankings. If you didn't watch that video, you should definitely check it out. It's a series that I do where I rank a specific category of products from least to most favorite. And so I did my ABH palettes. And the Master Palette by Mario was brought up, and I was just thinking about how I wish they still sold this and that it wasn't limited edition. And here we are today, filming a whole video about all these other products. So for the most part, these are like palettes because I was going through like lip products, and honestly, I couldn't even remember what was limited edition. And I feel like if it wasn't standing out to me, then... It wasn't worth putting in this video anyways so most of these are palettes i am going to start off though with the one non palette powder formula and that is the dior dior blush light and contour duo so this is in the shade 001 this came out a few years ago this is honestly way past the expiration date but i still have it because i love it it has a highlighter stick on one side which i don't use i hate cream and liquid highlighters but this contour stick is amazing. It never separates my foundation. It blends like a dream. Honestly, it is a little expired. It's just not as good as it used to be, which makes me really, really sad. But I used to use this every day. I was obsessed with it. And I wish they would just bring this back. I've looked for it. I just can't find it. And this was the best thing ever from Dior and... I believe it was for a summer collection that it came out. It was probably like, gosh, two, three years ago. So good though. Love it. Okay, the next one, since I already mentioned it, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Master Palette by Mario. You can watch my ABH rankings video to get a full synopsis on this palette, but basically it is so gorgeous. So many people would love this palette. It's so flattering on so many skin tones, and it just gives you the sexy eyes. Um, and the formula is better than regular ABH formula, and all of these colors go so well together. And it looks maybe a little blah, but when you put it on your eyes, it's just so good. Everything about this palette is amazing. The color combos. I just, this is one of those palettes where I definitely feel guilty every time I use it because I just never ever want to run out of this palette. I don't care if this palette is old and expired. I will still have it and use it. It is amazing. ABH, please, please, please restock this. Honestly, it's for the benefit of your own brand. This is so amazing. Like, who doesn't want this palette? I guess we'll continue on with the eyeshadow palettes. So this next one you guys can actually get. So I wanted to talk about it, but it's it's going to sell out eventually and they're not going to have it anymore and that is the dose of colors desi x katie friendcation palette i just love this palette so much i just feel like you can get so many different looks the quality is really good i love their glitter shades i love just the neutral shades that they put in here i feel like it's just so user friendly so simple to come up with a look this is probably my favorite shade in the whole palette it's literally just a sheer glitter eyeshadow that looks beautiful over the lid for natural everyday looks with a little bit of glam i love this palette and i'm not going to purchase another one because the amount of eyeshadows i have are ridiculous but eventually they're not going to have this palette anymore i saw it at ulta the other day and i just want to remind you to pick this up before you can't get it anymore and you regret it because this palette is amazing it's one of my favorites i think the quality is awesome and if you haven't gotten this palette i'm sad for you because it's really really good 
okay so this next one is a little bit more on the affordable side this is from pixie and this was a collaboration with it's judy time who she's not really a beauty vlogger anymore she's more of a family vlogger this was like probably two years ago that she came out with the collaboration with pixie and i love this palette such a beautiful range of neutrals it was 20 dollars, which isn't bad and i just i love People always get on me when I say this, but I love the clear packaging. Uh, people think it looks really cheap. I just like being able to see the colors. I really do wish they still had this because you're missing out if you didn't get it. It's a drugstore palette, but it's one of my favorites. Uh, this is a thoughtless palette. I can just throw colors on and really love the look that I was wearing. I've created some of my favorite neutral looks just using this palette. And honestly, this for a while, for a long, long time, was my go-to palette. I wish I had talked about it more while it was still on the shelves. I just, I bought this right before they stopped selling it because I had resisted it for so long because it's a neutral palette it's from Pixie I love high-end eyeshadows not really drugstore and then buying this was the best decision I ever made I love this palette I know they have more collaborations I'm just not interested in them nothing caught my eye more than the it's Judy time palette and let's not forget the fact that I love Judy this next one I believe you can't get anymore or they're trying to phase it out but this is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Deluxe Edition Palette. Guys, I love this. This was such a hit for BH. I just think it has the most simple, beautiful colors. For There was a time where I encouraged everybody to buy this palette because it not only was affordable, but it was gorgeous. I mean, the packaging looks super luxe and expensive. I mean, when you feel it, it's obviously not. It's cardboard. But uh, the whole vibe of this palette is beautiful. I love the light, soft, mauve shades. And if you can't get this anymore, I would recommend looking into their new opalescent palette because that is a good substitute. But honestly, I love this. I love the highlighters in here. I think they're beautiful. Matter of fact, let's put this beautiful gold one on. Like, BH Carly, yes, you did it with this palette. Please do another collaboration. It would make my life. I love this. And, like, for such affordable eyeshadows, this is actually really, really good quality, too. Oh, that's all of the eyeshadows. For some reason, I feel like I should have way more eyeshadows. Okay, but I actually have a lot of face palettes, too. I love face palettes. So, this first one, oh my gosh, is one of my staples right now. This is the NARS Bord de Plague palette. This was out last year. So, in it, you get two bronzers and four gorgeous highlights. One of the bronzers is Laguna, so you can't get that, but oh my gosh, I love the formula of these highlighters, and this is just such a beautiful summer palette. Uh, I get a beautiful bronze and glow with this palette it's just so easy to reach into with such good colors to be honest the highlights are so so blinding and beautiful and smooth on the skin I think this was just such a hit release for NARS and I feel like it should come out every summer that's the perfect time for them to put this palette out and <sighs> NARS has changed as a brand they're coming out with so many releases there was a time when they weren't like that uh, they would only come out with a few and when they said it was limited edition it was limited edition but now they're just like spewing out all of their releases and I kind of miss the old classic NARS when they didn't have that and everything felt a little bit more exclusive but that being said this was limited edition and I totally wish it wasn't limited edition because this palette is super duper good and I wish you guys got to pick it up. I never had heard much hype about it when I first saw it, which I thought was weird because I'm all up in the makeup, what's popping and what's not popping. Um, and I just saw this in the store and I was like, well, I need to get that. It's beautiful and one of my favorite purchases I've ever made, one of the best face palettes. All they gotta do is throw in an extra column for blush and I would not need anything else in my makeup collection. All right, so this next one is kind of a more new release. It came out for the holidays, but you cannot get it anymore. It's sold out and when it's sold out, it's sold out. Uh, this is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Unlock Palette. So like I said, this came out for the holidays, but this is by far the best palette that Hourglass came out with. I want them to come out with this again because the color combos they had before were okay, but this is the one where I actually feel like I like everything, and it's also very suitable for many, many skin tones. It's very neutral. It's going to look good on everybody. It's going to leave you with the most beautiful, glowy complexion. If you don't know, Hourglass has some of the best glowy blushes, some of the best bronzers, some of the best finishing powders. 
truly a really good brand for mature skin or somebody who just really likes to glow. Their glow powders really blur the skin and just give you that glow from within. And so I felt like this was their very first holiday palette that captivated everything great about their brand and also was suitable for many, many skin tones. I mean, of course, definitely for like deep skin tones, this still isn't good enough. I think they need to come out with just like a normal palette and then a deep palette. That's what they need to do so that they can cater to everybody because just the way their powders are, it is quite hard to cater to everybody. That's what you need to do next to your hourglass. And also just please come out with this again because this is a great gift. Um, I want to gift this to somebody because I know they will so very much love it. It is such a good palette. There's no way you cannot love the formulas in that. It's so soft, so subtle, and just leaves you looking so beautiful. <laughs> okay, so this next one was not a hyped up product, but I loved it. This is the Smashbox LA Lights Palette. So this came out Christmas two years ago. And I think I just liked it because it was so big and you just get nine big blushes. It, it, it was kind of unnecessary to be this big, but that is what I liked about it. It's the holidays. The value sets are where it's at. I love them. I love just getting unnecessarily large palettes with products that probably aren't as good quality as their normal range. But honestly, I really do like the blushes in here and I actually reach for this quite often still. Definitely off camera because you guys can't get it anymore. But I actually didn't purchase this the year it came out, and I had thought about it and regretted it the entire year. And then I, the next Christmas came around, and I was looking for it, and I was like, are they going to come out with it again? And they just never did. And so my mom bought this on eBay for like twice the price it was actually sold for. And it's one of the best gifts. So thoughtful. Um, I'm in love with this. I really like the formula. Not the best formula in the world, I'm not going to lie, but it's just such a treat to use it because it's just so large and you have so many options. Now, they did come out this year with like a contour sculpting bronzing kit that was the same packaging as this and I was very, very attracted to it, but I am such a blush girl and I did not need that contour kit. I almost got it. I, I really did so he could have a brother but it was just unnecessary. This is just such a bomb palette and I wish they would have came out with it again, clearly, because I searched far and wide for a whole year to find this palette, like it was on my mind. Okay, so this next one is a collaboration from ABH. This is the ABH Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. Do you guys remember when this came out? Oh my gosh, this has some of the most beautiful highlights. Very, very glittery, beaming, crazy, like trendy highlights. But I truly do love this palette and I remember watching a video from Nicole where she said another collaboration with ABH was in the works. I guess it never went through because nothing but like they need to finish that collaboration because this was amazing. They did do a second release. I remember seeing that but I just feel bad for anybody who couldn't get their hands on this because this creates just the most blinding glow. I love it. It's a little glittery but I like the glitter. I do like the glitter highlights in this. For the most part, for how dark they look, they all work very well on my skin, and I would like, I love to mix all of these together. I actually use this quite often, and I feel very guilty using it. Um, I'm gonna hit pan, it looks like, on a couple of these. I just love this palette so much, and they need to make this a part of their regular line. It is so good. Just to put it into perspective, I like this better than the Amrezi highlight. Like, this is way better, in my opinion. So, on to the last one. This one's an oldie, I feel like. This is going to throw some of you back. But this is the Becca and Jaclyn Hill Champagne Collection Face Palette. And to be honest, this isn't even mine. This is my mom's, and I totally want to steal this from her for this video because I still, to this very day, regret not picking it up. There was a time here on YouTube where the only highlight anybody ever used was Champagne Pop. If you saw a picture on Instagram, a video on YouTube, everybody was using Champagne Pop. I still use Champagne Pop. I think it's a beautiful highlight. Nowadays, all highlights are starting to look the same to me, to be honest. Like, how many highlights can you have? It's not even like eyeshadows where you can go in every range of color. Like, highlighters, you gotta stick to champagne or gold or a little bit pink. So yeah, highlighters are all looking the same to me. But 
I just really regret not picking this palette up. I did pick up the Chrissy Teigen collaboration palette, which is quite similar to this, but it's just not the same. I feel like the Chrissy Teigen one is more suited to medium to deep skin tones, and this one really is more suited for light skin tones. I like the blushes in here more. I like the highlighters more. I just like this palette more than the Chrissy Teigen one, and I just wish I had this in my possession. I don't know why I waited to pick it up to the point where I couldn't even pick it up, because honestly, this is such a beautiful face palette. I have such a huge thing for face palettes, and I don't know why. I remember there was a little bit of drama swirled around with this release, I think, because there's supposed to be eyeshadow palettes or something. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to YouTube drama, <laughs> to be honest. I've always just been about watching the makeup videos. I don't really care about all that other stuff, except this isn't YouTube drama, but I'm totally into the Chloe and Tristan drama right now. Like, I just can't help but get sucked in, okay? It's everywhere you go, and it's, like, really interesting. Anyway, so, yeah. Jaclyn Hill collab was really, really good. I mean, it's never, ever going to come back, but this was, like, a really good palette release, and it's so luxurious. And now I buy all the Becca palettes, but I didn't get this one. So, I do like their face palettes, though. But Becca's kind of going down the... You know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a bunch of stuff that I forgot that as soon as I press the little off on the camera button I'm going to find and be like wow I should have showed that but um anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this fun little different video let me know down below some makeup products that you wish weren't limited edition um, I hope you guys like this video I'm just chit-chatting hanging out so remember to like this video subscribe to my channel, comment down below what you wish wasn't limited edition, whether it was you didn't get to purchase it and you wish you did, or you did purchase it and you want to buy it again. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys, have a great day.